Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm here at Maker Faire 2013, and we're standing, standing with Scott next to a Strawn Beast that, that you actually built. Right. Um, actually, it was a group effort. Uh, my, I have a sheet metal business right now and do industrial sheet metal. Okay. And uh, Steve Hawthorne was a guy who helped me do a lot of the work on the metal. He does. He's an ace, like a machinist with sheet metal. So. Together we came up with this idea. First, what originally was making it as a Burning Man vehicle, so I wanted to have something that would look unique. And I was already making the metal pod cabin, so I thought, all right, I'll put legs on it and make it walk. So, so, you, well, you have an obsession with pods. It looks like just well, from looking around. The geodesic dome thing. Uh, when I was a kid, my brother made one of uh, Buckminster Fuller's uh, little domes in the backyard, and I loved the thing. So, ever since I always had a fascination with domes. And I found this this dome is not the same structure that Buckminster Fuller uses, but it's better for metal because it's everything. All the panels kind of link perfectly in squares or triangles or uh, rectangles. It's, it's easier to build things out of because you can put doors right in the panels. Okay. And like the way I have it, you could take that panel out, and that could be a doorway or it could be a window or whatever you want. And it, and it stacks in a nice, neat little pile. So you could put this whole pod down in a pile. That's basically like 38 by 38 by three feet tall. Oh, so it's, it's flat packs for shipping? Flat packs for shipping or storage. Fantastic, so wh why did you decide to do the Strong Beast legs to move this guy around? I found some videos on Dale Jansen on the internet. I just love the way it looks. It's just a beautiful, graceful linkage. It took about a month and a half to figure out how I wanted to build this, and it took about two and a half months for us to actually make it work. So then, uh, how's it propelled? Is it gas engine, electric? What? It's electric powered. I'm using two backup batteries from their UPS backup batteries. Oh wow! And uh, it runs basic about 800 watts, which is I guess roughly half of a hair dryer power to make it move. I use the backup generator in there in case the batteries die. I can charge the batteries up, and I've also got a solar panel on top to help trickle charge the batteries, okay. along with a wind turbine on the back to kind of boost things up in the dark. Fantastic so much. And your top speed is, I, I got to imagine, it's pretty slow. It's about 0.02 miles an hour. That's, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Scott. This is really great stuff. Great. Uh, we'll be back with more from Maker Faire real soon. See you guys later.